Hi, everybody. This is Professor Burko, and we're in week two of this accelerated class, and this is where you can really start to get a sense of how accelerated it is. We have to start planning the research paper as early as week two. In fact, I want you to propose by Wednesday what your topic for the research paper is, and I'm going to try my hardest to respond quickly because two days later on Friday, I want you to propose the topic for your second essay, your definition essay. It's an important step in a process towards building up to the research paper because paper number two is going to be a definition of a term that's critical to your research paper. Let's say you're writing about um, cancer and you want to talk about various cures for cancer including chemotherapy and radiation and stuff like that well maybe one of the key terms you need to define is chemotherapy um, and this is an important decision and critical thinking process to figure out how to clarify terms in a research paper topic and we approach it by writing a definition essay now many of you are going to say oh, I have no clue how to write a definition essay. Don't panic, don't worry. Uh, once we get past this rapid planning project, we're going to take our time and do what's called pre-writing and brainstorming exercises to get ready for the definition essay. And you're gonna have a lot of instruction along the way. You're gonna have me lecturing at you, and we're gonna have a chapter in a textbook and a uh, uh, PBS television program, half hour program about definition writing. You're going to get to see some sample essays in definition writing style and uh, use them as models. You're going to have a chance to propose your working thesis, to practice the process of doing research and bringing a quote in to support your thesis. Um, you don't have to worry too much about getting it right because you're going to have many opportunities to get feedback along the way, to propose a thesis, to get feedback on your thesis, to write a draft of the paper and then get feedback on the draft before you're graded on it. Let's talk about that a little bit. I'm going to be giving you a lot of encouragement to work with the Writing Center, especially because this is a uh, an accelerated class and the Writing Center can be a key, among other things, I give you a nine day um, or 10 day or whatever the assignment is extension of the due date if you work with the Writing Center. Now you're not gonna be required to work with the Writing Center, but I gotta tell you that I would say 99 out of 100 students who work with the Writing Center get a better grade than those students who don't um, because you get a chance to write a draft and then get feedback and then revise and you're not turning in your first draft to the teacher and getting graded on it. Um, another process in the step of learning is that I will give you feedback whenever you submit it to me, whether it's by the original due date or after you work with the Writing Center, and you'll have a chance to revise one more time. So it takes off a lot of the pressure uh, for writing the paper and actually kind of gives you some what they call agency where you get to determine your own fate. It's not just turning a paper and the teacher gave me a bad grade because he didn't like me or whatever. It's kind of up to you. If you want to get a good grade, if you want to learn how to write, then you'll spend some time drafting and revising and getting feedback. And that's a big theme in this course. You probably figured that out after uh, you got my feedback on your first icebreaker assignment. So among other things, you're going to have to start practicing doing some research and bringing it in, blending the quotes with your own words in MLA style. And again, you'll probably not get it right the first time around, but that's okay because you're going to get feedback from me, possibly, hopefully, from the Writing Center. They're very good at showing uh, how to use MLA style. Um, you're going to need practice in developing a thesis. The, First thesis you propose, it's going to be a working thesis, a work in progress, right? It may, it probably will change. It's not that it may change, uh, because a lot of times what happens is we have a fuzzy idea of what the thesis is. We start writing, we discover what we're trying to say, and then we go and revise the thesis. Uh, this is a very different approach than the kind of teacher who says, give me a thesis, stick with it, and then keep writing no matter what, because that approach doesn't allow you to change the main point as you do more reading and do more discovering about 
what it is you want to say. Again, going back to the example of uh, defining chemotherapy, you may have had a fuzzy idea of what chemotherapy is. You may have proposed a working thesis. You may have discovered through the writing, through the research, through the reading about it, different things that you want to go back and shape that thesis a little bit more. This is called critical thinking. This is called um, synthesis and analysis. That is that you synthesize the information that's going into your brain, you analyze it, and then you change what you're trying to say based on what you're learning. And that's why we call it a research paper. Um, paper number two is a step toward your bigger, longer six to 10 page research paper. Um, it's a baby step. It allows you to make mistakes. Um, it, it allows you to get uh, feedback uh, at various stages and learn from your mistakes. And by the time you actually get to writing the real research paper, um, this will all kind of build up incrementally and, and you'll feel really comfortable when you're working on that much longer paper. Um, but there's no time in an accelerated class to um, procrastinate Okay, we've got to get on it right away. So I need to, those proposals in week number two. First of all, for the topic of the overall research paper, I'll get in to those discussion threads and give you approval or suggest changes as soon as possible. And then two days later, we're going to have you propose the topic for paper number two. And, and I need that as soon as possible so that you can get started with my approval on writing paper number two and doing all of those brainstorming exercises um, and generating exercises, exercises to help you incrementally learn how to write a definition paper. Hope that makes sense. And by the way, you can make step towards steps towards understanding how to write a definition paper even before you decide on your topic by reading the chapter, by watching the television program, the PBS television program on definition writing reading the sample essay um, and uh, maybe reading ahead to see what the brainstorming is going to be like all while you're thinking what is the term I'm going to propose to define. Hope that makes sense. Try to have fun with it. I realize things are going by very quickly. This is an accelerated class, but you'll be um, feeling really good about yourself and confident if you get through all of this. Um, you'll be a very good college level writer by the end of this eight-week term.